In this quick lesson from themacu.com, we're going to do an overview of the National Parks app for iPhone and iPad. This app is built by the National Park Service, and it contains information and maps for every site managed by the NPS, which includes much more than just the national parks, but also monuments, historic sites, memorials, battlefields, and more. The app is available for free on the App Store. The best way to find it is to enter National Park Service in the search field. So let's launch the app and tap on Find a Park. From here, we're able to search for a specific location, or we can browse by type, state, activity, or topic. We can also use this map to zoom in on an area to find sites. If there's a number displayed, it means there are multiple sites in that general area. Zoom in further to see each one individually. Tap on an item to view a summary, and tap again to open its main page. I'm going to do a search for Canyonlands and open its page. Here at the top we can quickly see a few pictures of this park, and below that is a summary of what can be found there. Below is much more information, broken down into several categories. Check out the self-guided tours for suggested itineraries. Under information, we can view general weather details broken down by season, along with directions that will provide precise locations for park entrances. Canyonlands has multiple sections, so we have a few options here. Tap to get directions and maps. Overlaid at the bottom of the display is a Park Map button. This is a digital version of the Park Map that is handed out at the entrance of most parks. It's extremely helpful to have with, and when in the park, this digital version will display your location on the map as well. These are topographic maps that display trails along with roads, which means you can track your progress on a hike, or you can see how much of an uphill climb remains. To make sure the maps and all the other park information remains available on your device, we're able to download the entry for this park with a tap up here. This is going to save all the data for Canyonlands, including its map, to this iPhone. At parks like Canyonlands, you'll want to do this before arriving or at the visitor's center, as much of the park won't have any cell coverage. We can also favorite entire parks or locations within a park. If I head into the Needles Campground and tap the star button up here, it gets added to my favorites. When viewing Canyonlands, we can quickly get back to this campground from the Save button right here. We also have access to all of our favorites from the home page of the app here. This will show the park and any location within those parks that have been marked as favorites. Also from the home page, we can add the parks that we've visited. We can scroll through this list and check off the ones that I've been to, or search for specific locations up here to check them off. It's now possible to buy digital park passes from within this app. Doing so will require a recreation.gov account, but having a pass before you arrive can potentially avoid a long line when entering the park. These passes download as a PDF directly to your device. So that's a quick summary of the National Park Service app and what it can do. If you're planning a visit to a park service location, I would highly recommend downloading this app as it's packed with useful information for any type of visitor. Thanks for watching.